Okay, here we go. Dalton's Atomic Theory. <clears throat> All right, this is going on page 22 of your notebooks. Okay? So in your book, page 103, we have Dalton's Four Atomic Theories. So just pause the video real quick. It's probably hard to read them off of here. Turn to page 103 in the book and copy down Dalton's Atomic Theory on the left side of the page. Leave all of this blank. <clears throat> all right, so we're gonna do picture notes. <clears throat> so our first part of his theory, all elements are composed of tiny individual particles called atoms. So we wanna draw a picture that represents that, okay? So on the left, on the right hand side, I have, let's just say a piece of wood. We're gonna make it nice and pretty. Okay, so if we zoom in here, we wanna show that whatever this block is, it is made entirely of very, very, very small atoms. We're just gonna do green. And now I'm making molecules because I have one in the middle and these other four attached to it. So these are molecules which are composed of atoms. All right, that's simple. There's our first picture for our first one. All elements are composed of tiny individual particles called atoms. Second part, atoms of the same element are identical. The atoms of any one element are different from those of any other element, okay? So we're gonna draw a few different examples. <clears throat> Let's do, and make sure this looks nice and pretty. So we're gonna do chlorine, Cl. That's our symbol, okay? So for chlorine, I'm just gonna make it these nice little triangles. Uh, let's do hydrogen. Hydrogen is just gonna be these nice little tiny circles. We'll do carbon. Carbon, I'm gonna switch the color. I'm gonna make it these open circles. Make sure you take your time, do everything nice and neat. Let's do some oxygen. Oxygen, we'll just switch our color around. And let's do some helium, which is HE, and we'll do some nitrogen. Uh, so let's see, for helium, what do we want to do? We'll make a little squares. And nitrogen, we'll go with larger circles. Okay, so right now we have six different elements, okay? Now what we're gonna do now is start combining these, which we already kind of practiced doing. Number three says, atoms of different elements can physically mix together or can chemically combine in simple whole number ratios to form compounds, okay? Form compounds. Uh, so let's do some new ones. We've done water before. Let's do methane gas. Okay, so for methane gas, we have CH4, okay? So we need one of our carbons and we need four of our hydrogens, okay? So let's take carbon, which is this guy, and we have four of our hydrogens. That's these little tiny guys. So we're gonna put four, one, two, three, Four. Okay, so on here right now we have um, this is a compound because we have two different elements. We're going to just say more than one element. We also have one, two, three, four, five, five atoms. 
and we were made up of two different elements, carbon and hydrogen. We have five atoms, two elements. We're considered a compound because we're more than one element. Okay, So let's make a few of our methane gas. For those of you interested, methane gas is farts. That's what farts is, CH4. Okay, let's make another one. Let's do some oxygen gas. <clears throat> oxygen gas is a diatomic, O2. So because we have two of the same things, this is not a compound, but it is a molecule. Not a compound. <clears throat> okay? And this is considered a diatomic. Because it's two of the same, O2. So our oxygen are these little guys. That's O2. O2, 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 O2. There's our oxygen gas. Uh, let's see, what else do we want to do? Let's do some ammonia. <clears throat> okay. Ammonia is NH3. NH3. Okay. So that's this, our nitrogen, plus three of our hydrogens. Actually, I should have made these orange. That's okay. So NH3. There's our one nitrogen. We need three hydrogens around it. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And all these guys should, based on my original drawing, be orange. I wasn't paying attention. OK. So let's look at rule four. Chemical reactions occur when atoms are separated from each other, joined, or rearranged in a different combination. Atoms of one element, however, are never changed into atoms of elements as a result of a chemical reaction. Okay? So we're going to write our first chemical formula. We're going to take ammonia, we're going to combine it with hydrochloric acid, and we're going to make ammonium chloride. Okay? So we're going to take hydrochloric acid plus ammonia, and we're going to make, I'm just going to put down here because we need room, ammonium chloride. Okay, so we're going to draw these strings. Hydrochloric acid is HCl, so we need one chlorine, one hydrogen. There's our chlorine, and our hydrogen is this little dot. And our ammonia, which is going to be one of these guys. Now we are not allowed to create or destroy matter. So we're going to take this guy plus this guy, and we're going to make ammonium chloride. And for this one, we're taking two separate things and just combining them together. There's our picture notes today. So these four pictures, one, two, three, four, if we want to, we can do one, two, uh, three. Did I do that right? Yep, that should go way down there. And there's four. So these are four picture notes that line up with Dalton's atomic theory. All right, let's take a look at the homework for today. Okay, we're going to do atomic structure. Make sure this is all set. So let's do the first one. First one is our atomic number. We're looking up Na. So on our periodic table, we're looking for sodium, which is right here. Okay, 
our atomic number, which we talked about yesterday, is 11. Okay? And the atomic number stands for your number of protons. So on our sheet, number of protons is right here. We have 11 protons. Our mass number. On this worksheet, we're going to round to a whole number. 22.99 rounds up to 23. And for today, and um, well, this will change later, our protons is going to equal our electrons. So these two are always the same. This will also be 11. Okay. To figure out our neutrons, protons plus neutrons equals your atomic or your mass number. Mass number. Okay. So if we take 23 and subtract 11, we get 12. That's how we get our neutrons. Protons plus neutrons equal your mass number. So 11 plus 12 equals 23. Okay, so let's do a different one. Let's go further down the page. Let's do this one here that we don't know. We have 47, 108. We don't know what our element is. Okay, Our number of protons equals our atomic number. So we know that this is 47. If we go on to our periodic table and follow it through, Here's our 47. We're looking at silver. 107 or 108 once around it. Okay? And we have 47 here. This is AG. Okay? AG stands for silver. We want to start memorizing or practicing that. Okay? So on here, all we need to do to get your number of neutrons, <coughs> 108, subtract 47, that's your number of neutrons. Every time our atomic number will match our protons, and it will also match our electrons for today. Later that will change, but this is our atomic worksheet. This is going to go on to page 23 of your notebook. So we have Dalton's atomic theory on page 22, atomic structure worksheet on page 23 of your notebook. Get that all filled in, and make sure right now, quiz yourself on these. We have sodium, potassium, what are all these other elements? Go through them real quick. <coughs> 